Hey guys, I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you'll return the subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. Listen, I want to talk about something. In fact, I, I want to just say this first. I didn't want to talk about this because I was going to say something about this last week. But, I mean, it keeps coming back up. So I figured I would say something about it. And what I'm talking about is the situation with Dr. Umar Johnson constantly talking about certain black folk in TV or what have you getting beat and getting lashes of a whip beaten like a slave. I ain't feeling that. Especially from him. You know, being black saying that I definitely ain't feeling it. He know better. Umar, you know better. You know better. Me personally, I, I, I don't see what value he brings to anyone when he opens his mouth. And I'm going to go over some details and get deep about my opinion. I don't mean to offend anybody. If you're a fan of his, you're a fan of his. Me, I'm not a fan. And trust me, I've been around long enough. I've been around, you know, all types of folk, all types of theories, all types of religions. And trust me, I ain't impressed. I think what he do, he do on purpose. And I'm going to get into it. Number one, he know better. You claim you, um, you got a doctorate or masters in psychology. And I want you folks to listen to what I'm about to say. You got a master in psychology. Psychology is the study of mind and behaviors. Dealing with mental illness. Why people do certain things. How people do certain things. So forth and so on. Now when somebody can study your mind and your behavior. And answer a lot of questions about what we do and don't do as a people. They can also manipulate you when they speak because they know more about the mind than we do, i.e. saying certain things to get a rise out of you, using color as a uh, weapon to swage your uh, opinion towards something else that he wants you to think about. Man, we got to think about this. You can't come with this us versus them dynamic all the time. The stuff he say and I hope I hope I hope he uh hear what I'm about to say. The stuff he say only sounds smart around uneducated people. It only sounds smart around people that don't know what he know. He say a bunch of colorful words, move his hands a certain way, and all of a sudden people are like, hmm, he he is a doctor. He, he that's why he throw that doctor in front of his name all the time. You ain't a psych. You ain't a uh, psychiatrist. You a psychologist. That don't get the same respect as as other doctors. I know. I went to school. You know what I mean? You sitting up here trying to sound smart in front of a bunch of people that are uneducated. And when I say uneducated, hear me. What I'm saying, I'm saying people that are not educated school wise. I'm not saying people that are just dumb or anything like that. That stuff work on a certain type of person. And to me. Doing that to a lot of people that are downtrodden and running around here speaking with two tongues, you know what I'm saying? That's a crime in itself to me. You talking about all these personalities when they need to get lashes. How many lashes you need to get, Dr. Umar? How many lashes do you need to get? Because you done said some suspect stuff too. Stuff that make people raise their eyebrows. Up here talking about uh, certain people get certain amount of lashes. Who are you to determine how many lashes they get and why they got to get beat? I take that highly as offensive. I mean, I take that highly offensive. I'm highly offensed at that. And the reason why I'm highly offensed at that is this. For the longest time, people in this country, before my time, and... They've been trying to fight just to be treated as a human being. 
Now we all know what happened back in the day. Ain't nothing, no reason going back into it. But I am going to say something and sidetrack this but again before I go back to him. Because this is very important before I go to my next point. He always says he got, he, he talks about issues, right? With no solution. The man studies psychology. He know the pro a lot of the problems that can be fixed, but he won't address them because he can't bring up race and tell the real truth to the problem. We are far removed from where we need to be mentally. And it's impacting us physically and it's impacting our hearts. He won't say that. But what he'll do, he'll do that race baiting bullshit. Us versus them. White supremacy. White privilege. And all this. Let me ask you something, bro. Let me ask you something. When the last time you seen a white man come in there with a whip and beat your ass while you was watching TV? When the last time you came outside your house and somebody cracked your head and made you run in the field and pick fucking cotton? Listen, the biggest problem we got right now is we're losing touch of our history. And I say American history. Just like Morgan Freeman said, black history is American history. Slavery is a part of our history. Just like the Holocaust is a part of Jewish history. They don't say, hey, don't talk about that no more. And, and don't they, they just say, don't use it in the offensive reference. And that's how we need to be. They don't forget. We do. And part of that is planned. Back in the 80s, some of y'all can remember this. Black History Month, what did they show? They showed a bunch of old uh, videos. PBS used to show them about the struggles we had trying to just be treated as equals in this country. Bit by dogs. Bombing schools with children in them. People didn't want us to go to school and all this other stuff. What happened? People complained, oh, we need to stop doing that, showing it every year. They should have kept showing it because it was a constant reminder of how far we came. Now they turned it off. What happened? Generation come, then generation after that. We got crazy shit going on, unruliness. No respect for authority. Kids just doing what the fuck they want to do. No respect for older people. You can go on the uh, internet right now and see young kids punching old people in the face. Running in stores, grabbing stuff on masks, running out the store because nothing's going to happen to them or they think nothing's going to happen to them. Killing each other in the street. Shameful. He's, he's a doctor. You know the problems. You know why. That's one of the reasons. They don't show that stuff no more. We're getting detached about the struggle that we had getting forward, coming forward to where we are right now. And it's hurtful. And I wish I could fix it. Now, I don't mean to, I don't mean to get emotional. But stop blaming other people for you sitting on the couch or you being where you are right now. Jobs will hire you if you are qualified. You sitting up here talking about you're going to make a school. Oh, I'm going to make a school. For what? You going to be in the, be the one in there educating them? Man, this dude got delusions of grandeur. And he's just trying to make it, build himself up. It sound good, but it's BS. You sit up here dealing with your, your relevance is, is just basically willful ignorance. Meaning you play dumb. Like you down on the common black man's uh level. You down to his level. I feel you, brother. We got to do this. We got to do that. Who educated you? The white man. What schools you went to? Some of them was white schools. Or at least had white teachers. So how you know if what you saying is valid that you spitting out here to these people, supposedly your people, if they came from white folks, if they so bad? People sound dumb. 
they put something in front of your face, show it to you. It's just like the three card money. They put the uh, beam down and they move all the stuff around. You seen it. He, he, he starts speaking and you caught what he said. That's that brought you in. And now here come all the colorful words and the bullshit. Then he sang you off on your own to go pick which which fate you, you think the nut was under. Then you run out here and ring your mouth and don't sound as intelligent as him. And then all of a sudden, oh, Dr. Umar said. We have a herd mentality. We got to stop moving all in the same direction. Because we're not. We got to stop following people that have not shown anything. He was building a school for 50 years now. Think about it. He know that a lot of people are cut off from the black history and all that stuff that they used to show that people deemed it as offensive, but it was very important to be shown. Because we lost track of that. It skipped the whole generation, and now we got a bunch of kids that don't know anything about leaders we had that helped us get where we are right now and be afforded the opportunities that we have. The white man is not your enemy. He's not. You go out here and you qualified for a job, they will hire you. You have a job that's good, or you have a service or a business that's good, they'll hire you. I knock on rich people's door all the time. Hey, my name is such and such. Hey, you know what? I never see them say, hey, you're black. We don't deal with blacks. Get off my property with a shotgun in my, in my face. They don't do that. Now, I'm not, am I granting all of Americans like that? No, I'm not saying all of Americans like that. You still got small towns, and I'm going to tell you something. You got to think. America is the only place I know that deal with the black and white thing. You go to other countries, you don't even see that. They call you... They, call, they define you by the country you come from. So you go anywhere else, you an American. They don't say, hey, hey, black dude, hey, white dude, that's only over here. You know, the thing is, Morgan Freeman said one time, hey, you want to get rid of the racism and all that stuff? Stop talking about it. People didn't even catch what he was saying. They didn't even catch what he was saying. As long as we talk about this stuff all the time and make it a part of our subconscious, it's going to always be a disparagement between us them, them, or them over there because our colors are different. Dumb shit. America's a capitalist country. They will pay you for good ideas and pay you for skills that are worthy of uh, praise. I don't understand this stuff. You sitting up here talking about another black person need to get beat with a whip. Because they might like somebody. Or they might. That ain't your business. As long as it ain't hurting you. What you care for? You'll say anything to say, stay relevant. And it's sickening bro. Sickening. And you know better. Like you understand how the human mind works. What you can and can't say. And then this is another thing. Like I said. You only smart around dumb people. When you're one on the breakfast club. He's very adaptable. Uh, adaptable speaking with two tongues and the reason why I say speak two tongues when he on black shows or certain shows he like a doppelganger he just assume a certain role and speak because the because the platform is different if you're a professional and you want to make a change be the same person on camera every time what's his name Jordan Peterson Jordan Peterson going on you can tell he's an intellectual He'll sit right up there, hands folded, and he'll talk monotone, but he'll be spitting straight facts. You go on the show, Breakfast Club, you sound like you down at the barbershop or you in a project somewhere. I couldn't tell who was the professional. You, Charlemagne, or the other dude, DJ Envy. Everybody talking, you didn't even sound like a profession, and you damn sure didn't sound like a doctor. I mean, maybe Dr. Seuss, because you had that goofy suit on, trying to sit up there like you socially awkward because you're so intelligent. Get the fuck out of here. You went on Roland Martin's show. 
years ago. If y'all ever get a chance to see it, it's on YouTube somewhere. Go see it. I remember seeing it years ago. He went on Roland Martin's show. He, he checked the shit out you because you called the dude a coon. Dude wasn't even on the show two minutes and you called him a coon. The dude disagreed with something you said and said you are lying. Didn't call you a liar. He said you are lying about a statement you made. You sat there for a second. <clears throat> and you a coon. Coon, that word coon, is your getaway. That's the ultimate insult when somebody, that's, that, that's how you, you use that to distract from the subject, to turn the tables. Oh, I'll name call. Bro, you're, you're a professional psychologist. You know name calling and all that stuff. People that name call be trying to change the subject or avoid something. And you use that tactic. And that's why I hold you accountable. You know how the mind works and you know how human behavior works. And it lets you manipulate people. Like I said, speak between two, two different tongues. You get on a uh, show with real professionals. Or, 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 or we'll say it like this. You get on a white show. You don't be acting like you on a breakfast club. You don't do that. You be up there serious as hell. You fake. And it's a damn shame you play this game in front of your, pe your people. You like some of them preachers that's out there just talking trash and don't care nothing about the people just trying to get the come up. You need attention. And for you to be as old as you are, it's a damn shame. You sit up here talking about, oh, we got to protect the black family. Do we now? Do we? How we do that? See, you talk a good game. But your school ain't built, which I don't care about that. I don't care about the school, guys. Don't, don't get me wrong. I don't care about his school. My thing is this. It should have never been a controversy when you got all them donations for the people to ask you about updates when you should have been providing them because you had a significant amount of money and a significant amount of support. And for them to come back and then look at you side eye after they gave you money and people that didn't give you money to be introduced to this and look at you side eye, you look really bad. Seems like everybody that be trying to kick this knowledge and all this other stuff don't have nothing. Celebrities. Athletes. Politicians. Colleagues, fellow psychologists that are black. All these people are black. Don't seem like none of them down with your cause, bro. Ain't nobody down with the uh, Prince of Pan-Africanism. Ain't nobody down with that drive. That's probably why you got a problem with and attacked athletes on uh, the Breakfast Club. And actors saying they picked the money over the people because nobody are funding your bullshit. It's a lot of black celebrities. Whole lot of black athletes. I don't never see nobody around you like, yo, I'm going to pledge $2 million to uh, Umar. Dr. Umar. I never see it. Y'all need to pay attention. This dude just hot air and bullshit. I don't understand it, man. You want to name your school Marcus Garvey. I understand that Marcus Garvey had a philosophy that inspired a lot of people. You got uh, Martin Luther King, but Malcolm X, I think. Nelson Mandela, I know Marcus Garvey inspired him. They used some of his ideals to start movements. You want to name your school after him? That's cool. But Marcus Garvey also said, hey, he wanted to take all the Africans, all the black people, back to Africa. You down with that? You go first and then tell us how it is. You know better. You sitting up here with a shirt apologetically African with the black hand on it. Go over there and don't visit. Live. Go over there. See how they living. They fighting to come over here. As soon as you get off that plane. Within hours they'll let you know that you ain't one of them. Hell, they do it over here sometime. And I'm not dissing anybody that's African. But it's a difference between how they uh, are over there and how we are over here. You're always talking about uh, 
crazy, crazy stuff. Like, like, let me go back to the interracial stuff. You talk about the interracial stuff. We've been overbred and mixed multiple times over hundreds of years in this country, including you. So what make you better than anybody? You sitting up here talking like you a pure African descent. You quoting you you the descendant of uh, Frederick Douglass and all that stuff. They had a uh, uh, a written uh, statement from the family saying you not. You start laughing. Oh, I, I know who that is. You look stupid on live TV. You looked dumb. Man, this guy is crazy. I don't approve what he said. I don't appreciate it. You know, I don't think he's been all, he's been all over traveling, but traveling somewhere and, and talking and is different than experiencing the culture. You need to go live other places. You need to go visit other places and really like take the time to be there a certain amount of time. See how things run. Because man, it seems like the way he talked, he talked from a lot of ignorance. He don't do nothing. Just all mouth. Somebody need to get beat. Got a hell of a nerve. Bottom line is this. If you want to prove that your, your ideals are real, start putting them into action, man. Stop running your mouth. It's like nobody backs you. All these black people in, in, in the, in the uh, America that have money I have never seen any of them come out and be like, yo, I'm going to use my finances to propel you. Because it seemed like you you in the same spot you was years ago. You have not advanced at all. You just talk all that shit, but nobody sees you leveling up at all. Just a bunch of colorful dreams and wizard smoke. That being said, man... I'm done. I appreciate you guys spending time with me. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think, man. This guy is crazy. Leave him alone. You know, one thing that, 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 that bothers me with that slavery thing is say something happened and they put us back into slavery, right? We're just going superficial. People like that I'll be the first one you see hiding in the hen house of somebody's chicken coop, getting pulled out, screaming, looking stupid with fucking feathers in their beard. Give me a break, man. See through. I'm out.